Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today, we are talking about transforming your chest. Now look, I know that many guys struggle with this and once upon a time, so did I. I wasn't really seeing any size or strength improvements despite trying to change my workouts and my training splits, nothing was really working. So I then decided to go on a training course which was linked to the biomechanics of the body and of movement and once I finished that qualification, everything changed. I made three simple tweaks to a few chest exercises and this was an absolute game changer for me. This completely transformed not only the size but the strength of my chest and I've never looked back since. And the great thing about this is that anyone can make these changes. You do not need a fancy gym or any fancy gym equipment. So let's head over to the gym and I'll run you through these simple changes. So the first exercise that we're gonna look at is the flat bench press. Now look, this is a fantastic exercise, but for me and for my body, I find this movement quite restrictive and it puts quite a lot of pressure on my shoulders. I also struggle to get good chest activation during this exercise and that's because of my hand position. So the main issue for me here is too much pressure through my shoulders and not enough chest activation. So what you'll notice now during the dumbbell incline chest press versus the flat bench is that I'm able to have my hands in a much more neutral position. This will ensure that your shoulders are less engaged and that you're getting a much better contraction through your chest. Another great factor about having this as your main pressing movement is that this is targeting more the upper chest, which is an area that most people struggle with. And because this is the weakest and smallest part of the chest, it makes sense to start here first. So once I learned more about the biomechanics of movement, I learned that this exercise really wasn't that effective. So the main issue here is that there's only tension in the chest when the dumbbells are in this position. And the minute you bring them to this position, your chest has essentially switched off, making this a very ineffective exercise. And for any exercise to be effective, you want to keep tension in the muscle throughout the entire movement. This will be very clear when I show you the next exercise. So this exercise right here has been an absolute game changer for me. The first thing that you'll notice compared to the dumbbell fly is that there's constant tension when I'm here and when I'm here. This means that the chest muscles never switch off, making this exercise a lot more difficult. Another reason why this has made such a big difference for me is that you're able to really drive your back into that bench, meaning you can put a lot more weight through those cables. Trust me on this one, once you try this, you'll never go back to flies ever again. Here's another exercise that I used to do a lot of, and this is targeting the chest and the anterior deltoid, which is the front of the shoulder. But once again, there is only tension at the beginning of the movement, making this exercise extremely ineffective. So what you'll notice here with using cables is that once again, there is tension at the beginning and at the end of the movement, meaning that your chest is working constantly. So the biggest takeaway here is that you want to be choosing exercises that have constant tension throughout the entire movement. And the reason that I'm on my knees is that this prevents me from swinging, which once again isolates the chest muscle a lot more. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you found this video useful, then consider subscribing to my channel and press the little bell icon so that you get notified every time I make something new. Thanks again for watching, speak soon.